Hey there, I'm Slightly Froggy. Welcome back to my stream. Today I'm continuing my playthrough of Mass Effect 1. And right off the bat, I just want to give a shout out to Cass Harris, who just followed less than 20 minutes ago. Thank you so much for the follow, I really appreciate it. And hopefully you are doing well wherever you are in the world. I'm excited. We're working on some little character missions tonight. We're already kind of the first step into Garrus's, we're going after Dr. Hart. It's not his name, but it's close enough. <laughs> we're also hoping to get to Rex's today. It's gonna be sort of a side mission-y stream, but I am looking forward to it. We were doing some side missions yesterday, kind of goofing around, doing some exploring. I got to try out having Tally on my team, which is pretty cool. I was a little worried just because I know she's not like a very She's not a combat first character, and uh, she did quite well. We didn't have a ton of fighting to do. We had to deal with, uh, shoot, what were those? <laughs> It'll come to me later. I'll ask chat in a bit once people kind of file in. But uh, the exploding ones, the zombie, the tech zombies, there's a lot of little enemies to keep track of. I will learn them as I go along. I'm still in the, the learning stages. But we're going to give people a little bit of time to kind of file in before we get started on things. But I'm excited. I'm hoping we'll get to learn a bit more about our, our companions here. Because they've been kind of hanging out. I've been bringing them on missions, both Rex and Garrus. So, get to find out a bit more. But we got to learn quite a bit about them in the last stream as well. Like, Rex killed his dad. There's... I know I mentioned it in the last room as well, so I'm not going to harp on it too much, but there's a, there's a lot of parent issues in Mass Effect. And I understand that it's like your parents play a big part in shaping who you are in most cultures, maybe for, for most aliens apparently, but it's, it's interesting seeing uh, the universal, I don't get along well with my mom, or I don't, my dad doesn't understand what I do. <laughs> Hey there, Tim. Hey, welcome back to the stream. I hope you're doing well tonight. Excited to take down a dog. I don't know what sort of mission this is going to be. I I don't know if this is this might be a fighty mission. This might be a you have to make tough decisions mission. I'm I'm not sure what's ahead of us here, but it should be exciting, nonetheless. Also, uh. Ooh, hey there, JJ. Welcome back to the stream. I hope you're doing well. We've got a situation that requires your expertise. Only you can handle it. Ooh. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm here to do the job, sir. Which one are you starting with again? We're going with Garrus's. So Garrus is looking for a Dr. Hart. Apparently he had this whole situation going on in the Citadel where he, he was growing cloned organs in poor people that he was employing and he was like essentially keeping them captive and once Garrus kind of figured out what was going on and they tried to launch an attack he escaped and they never managed to find him he kept his uh his experimental co-workers as hostages as he was escaping and Garrus always wanted to get him well ooh, what's this these coordinates he was last seen here and he's on a new ship and he's changed his name and we gotta get him bring him to justice so that's what we're working on first tonight after that we're gonna try and track down some uh, Krogan armor for Rex that has been passed down in his family for generations yes I'm excited. I get the feeling this is going to be a, a moral dilemma more so than a, a shooty dilemma. There's probably going to be a fair amount of shooting. I'm not, I'm not discounting it. I'm just saying that uh, already Garrus was kind of pushing the envelope a little bit, being like, well, I mean, if hostages die, then they die. And it's like, Garrus, no, those are people. They're poor people that have been forced into a terrible situation where they've had to clone their own organs in their bodies and then have them forcibly removed. Oh, and if the organs weren't good, they had to just keep it in their bodies. They essentially became like... I'm trying to find a good comparison here. They were just providers of organs. An or organ farming. Organ farming. In like the most literal sense of the term. <laughs> so now he's going by Dr. Hart and we've tracked him down to a ship. 
We've boarded it. It's uh, me, Garrus, and Rex, I believe I picked to take with. Because I get the feeling there's going to be some fighting, so we will see how that goes. I'm excited. I gotta be careful with my leveling up, though, because we did have that situation in the last stream where uh, Tally did not have a high enough electronic skill to help with scavenging some stuff, so gotta be a bit more careful. Finally brought Tally out of the ship. I noticed he didn't talk to her in the last stream. I thought I did, or she didn't really have anything new to s Oh, shoot, did I forget to talk to Tally? Oh, crud. Oh, if I did, I'm sorry. I totally... I'm still getting used to where everybody is in the ship, and while most of them are together in one spot, like, get all spread out. I apologize. I, I wasn't trying to exclude Tally. I like Tally. I like her quite a bit, but I, it must have just slipped my mind. I was so busy just taking in what everybody else was saying that it just... Oh, also, um, things are getting complicated. With, uh, with Caden and Liara and me. I, w I was, originally I was flirting a little bit with Caden. It was for, f for funsies, it's fine. But then Liara started making moves. And then it's just like, oh, I gotta make a decision, so. Yeah, I, uh, I think in this one I'm gonna go with the blue lady. Because that's all Shepard's really, my Shepard. Has really, she likes her blue ladies, apparently. I didn't seek out to do this. This just kind of happened. I was just going to go with the flow and see with uh, what made it fun. It is quite spicy. I don't know. It's. I hesitate to call it spicy only because Liara is just like very awkward. And I say that with like all the fondness in my heart. I, it's not a knock against Liara. I find it endearing, but it's just, she's just like, I don't understand you humans. I don't understand people. I don't like people. I like to just do my work and be on my own, but I'm attracted to you, but it's, it's weird. And it's just like, shh, 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 shh. don't worry about it. I killed your mom. Because why not? I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> the plot made me do it. I had no choice in the matter. Somebody had to. Who knows? Maybe I didn't fire the killing shot. Maybe Liara, with her bionics, did it. Biotics. Bionics? Biotics? Goodness. I'm still getting used to some of these. Biotics. Ah, but I'm excited. Otherwise, nothing too exciting really on my end. The weather where I live has been a little not so crazy lately. We had some crazy weather the other day. Like insane thunder and lightning and like it, it was like that kind of lightning storm. It was in the night and the lightning was just so frequent and so, but like so much of it, it was like lighting up the entire, like it looked like daytime for like, it was just strike after strike. It was nuts. So, uh, didn't sleep too well that night. But it's, it, like, the temperature's been going up and down. That's the thing. In this, in September, you never know what you're gonna get. Like, I was, I was about to wear a sweater coming on to stream tonight, and then it's just like, oh, the temperature at my place is raised by, like, five degrees. I don't think so. Hey there, MG Tower. Welcome back to the stream. I hope you're doing well tonight. Ooh, you watched the latest Doctor Strange. Well, it was by Sam Raimi, who does have his horror background. Hey there, Gabsby. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well. I, I liked it. I got spoiled for one part of the new Doctor Strange movie. I didn't mean to. It was something that popped up on my Facebook feed. It was, um, it was in one of the sequences where you saw... A lot of characters you hadn't seen for a while and they were doing different things and they introduced a new one the identity of the new one got spoiled to me before I got to watch it which was frustrating but I mean hey hey there Qua welcome back to the stream hope you're doing well where you are in your neck of the woods glad to hear you're doing okay Gatsby glad to have you here and it's about 730 it's time for us to kick things off we're uh 
Gonna take down a doctor. Let's see how this goes. So we're on the ship. We're looking for Dr. Hart. We've got one hostile. Here, I just want to make sure I got my volume up. Okay. Actually, before I go any further, is everybody... I think I did upgrade Rex. Yep, Rex is set to go. Dr. Salient Harvester of Aliens. <laughs> oh, we got a couple of hostiles. Okay. They are- ooh, there are four of them all ready to go. Okay. Okay, that's Rex. Alright. I was like, okay, who am I sending in here? Alright, let's give it a quick save. To me! Ooh, there's a lot of hostiles. Oh, it's this again! Okay. Ooh, hello. Yes! Alright. So we've got one coming up on this side. Okay, I'm in a corner, so we're okay. How's everybody's shields doing? Let's get shields up. They're closing in. We got four more to go. Not bad. Oh, hello. Okay, cool. Oh, hello. Uh, let's uh, throw you back. Oh, hello. There's somebody coming around the corner. Okay. Oh, we got the hostile right there. So I'm gonna turn on marksmanship. Okay. Oh, jeez. Come on out. Fantastic. Rex, move. Ooh, okay, and one left. Whoa, hello. No, that's cool, just stay there. <laughs> okay. Okay, that went pretty well. Alright, let's save there. I'm trying to remember, what are those ones called? Those enemies. I know I could have checked, but I was kind of in the middle of shooting, so unfortunately I did not catch that. That minor detail there. Containments. Okay. Just seeing if there's any uh, little... Any gifts and goodies around here. Nope. Actually, Garrus, why? how do you feel? No? I have nothing to say? Rex? Okay. No worries. No, I get it. It's a serious situation. It's all good. Anything? No. Man, there's like no goodies here. Okay. Okay, I think we're safe up ahead. Okay. Ooh, we got a couple of doors here. Okay. Let's try not that one. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you for saving me. Ha ha! We found him. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Salion. Yes! What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. 
Ooh, I can ask him to back down. Time, okay, hold on, hold on here, hold on. My options are the, the good guy route, back down, Garrus. The renegade option, finish him. My middle ground is time to die, doctor. How, how is that the middle ground? Is it not going to come out quite that way? Okay. Was oh, that the middle ground? <laughs> oh, but I don't want to tell Garrus to back down. Let's go with the middle ground. This is my kill, Garrus. Oh. Get all crazy. Heads up. Oh, he's just going to run. Okay. I mean, Garrus was sure. I'm gonna trust him. What was that, Shepard? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's just... Uh, this is a lot that's happening very quickly. So I'm just, I'm just at a loss for words. What was that? Man, I don't know. What do you think? A lesson. <laughs> I'm I'm trusting Garrus. I am, but I'm gonna do it. I'm the Spectre. I don't have to live by the rules. What, what do you think? Never hesitate when you've got the enemy in your sights, Garrus. Point taken. Well, I guess we're done here. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just so abrupt. It's so abrupt. It's so. It was. <laughs> Never hesitate. Yep, you're right. Let's go back to the ship. <laughs> okay, thanks. Basically, that's that's basically how it went. That that's like a direct quote from the game at this point. Salian's medical equipment is stained with the blood of many species, pale blue, violet, orange, and more than a few dark red, but his work has ended here. Time to head back to Normandy. Yep, he was coming right for us. Um, go team? How do you feel, Garrus? No? Nobody wants to talk to me. Fine. Nobody wants to chit-chat anymore. <laughs> look, look at him. Look at him. Garrus, he didn't stand a chance. He took one hit and he died. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I know. Here we go. Let's take all those. Serta Foundation, Light Armor, Turian, and Krogan. I will take those. Metagel plus three. I will take that as well. Look at all this gear. I mean, he's not going to need it. So. Oh, oh, crud. There. Take Garrus to the effort tour. Can't wait for his hug. No! I mean, I would like to hug Garrus. But I do not want to take him to the Everdor. Tungsten rounds. Five. Okay. That's pretty good. Look at all this gear. Decryption skill too low. Ooh. Oh, there's probably some good stuff in there. <sighs> Hold on. Do I... I have no skills to work with. Okay. I don't know if... He does have some decryption. Advanced Sabotage, Master Sabotage. Okay, but not quite enough. Okay. We still gotta go through here. I don't know what's in here. Mm, nothing. Alright. Nothing to see here, folks. Let's move. I still... I don't know. I get, like, flashbacks to the Rachni. That isn't anything, is it? No. Okay. Is it this way? But that shootout went a lot better. I don't know. I feel like in that last area where I had to go up against them, I feel like there were a lot more of them. And the rushing... I don't know. I, I wonder if the AI was a little bit funky there. Because some of them were just kind of standing in place. And let's head back. Nothing to see here. Yeah, save 
up there. Actually, I should probably go down and talk to him. So, uh, JJ gave me a reminder at the beginning of the stream. I didn't talk to Tally. Those test subjects failed, and I guess so. So we're civilians who were standing in place. Uh, they just, they, they looked a little, um... A, a little, a little odd. Hey, buddy. Like... Anything you need, Commander? It looks like he rolls his eyes before he... Like, I know he's not, but it kind of looks like he's rolling his eyes every time. It's like... <sighs> Anything you need, Commander. <laughs> um... Tactical appraisal? What is that? What's your opinion on the last Oh, mission? okay. Killing Saren's... Uh, what was Benezi anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back. I'm sure Dr. Fasoni's heard it all. Poor kid. How did he kill her own mom? I realized I didn't actually ask him about that. Better late than ever. Uh, Rachni Queen. Any opinion on the Rachni? Hate him. Off the record, if we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the council. We weren't out here during the Rachni War. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. You know what? That's a fair input. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. Girlfriend wouldn't. Here, just seeing if there's no other clickables. Okay. The refresh rate is on the clickables here. Alright. So. I don't know if there's really anything new I can talk to Liara about, but let me just see. Hello! I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Nothing important. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? Oh, nothing. I should go. Goodbye, what do you Shepard. want to talk about, Commander? Nothing. I have to go. Okay, so I'm trying to remember where Tali is. Is she down this way? I gotta talk to Garrus anyway. Man, no matter how much I tried to do with that face, it just didn't didn't quite work out, did it? She's in the engine room, wherever that is. Well, I know she's in the engine room, but like you, it's like, I don't know where that is. Amazing how long I remember my mess. <laughs> you know what? It's over three games. It feels like a very dense game, like activity-wise. I feel that's fair. Engine room's down here. Okay. I thought so. Wasn't sure. Um... Let's see. Let's talk to Garrus first. Hey, buddy. Commander, good to see you. That's it? You have nothing else to say to me? Jeez. Commander. Um. What's your opinion of the last mission? Oh no. Arachni, right? eh. Dangerous. I think we already talked about this. Ma'am. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh. It's one of these ones, right? But first, uh, no, I don't think I have anything new for Rex. Here we are. Found it. Tally, we didn't talk. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Let's see. Glad you're feeling better. Good to see you smiling again. So to speak. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Steren's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. We've got three yes, games. But it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It's gotta be something it has really to be good. More than that. There's a lot expected of me. Important question: Which do you prefer, the way this game during this game during dialogue put everyone on an angle, or Skyrim? City style where it's profile straight on. You know what? <sighs> because we have like a character that we kind of like are visually seeing, on, like in cutscenes and stuff, Forgotten City, it's very much from our point of view. Like, that's the thing about Skyrim. It's like you don't tend to see your character really all that often. I don't know if you can change it. I always tended to play it like first person. 
but in this it's like I prefer the angle. Like I don't need sort of like a Silence of the Lambs like looking directly into the lens sort of thing. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird about eye contact. But I, I don't mind this, having everybody on a slight angle. Near Automata? Okay. It will be on the list. Okay. Can't, it has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. I don't have time for this? What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one Parents. of the five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would be the Krogan, Krogan equivalent of uh, fava beans and Chianti? What would be the Krogan equivalent? Also, point out again, what is going on with the writers at Bioware? Are they okay? What's their relationship with their parents like? Everybody's got parent problems. Okay, so you're royalty. So are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne or something? No, it doesn't work that way. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty board myself. Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. But it doesn't work that Got way. Got special practice. perks. People have I get always it. treated me nepotism because of who my father is. Preferential treatment. You must get all kinds of special privileges. I probably <laughs> had it easier than most growing up, but it's not all good. People like my father have enemies, and they're not above <gasps> using me to get to him. Ooh, that's a lot of pressure. It must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Oh, something so she doesn't want to screw it up. Change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed, and that reflects badly on both me and my father. Supposedly, Krogans eat and drink things that are harmful to humans. Oh, interesting. All right. Like, like poisons and that sort of thing. That's cool. No, a writer of Bioware, but she's new there. I can ask about her death. Just, like, I'm just curious if, like, the heads of the writers were... By the way, that's really cool that she works for Bioware. That's awesome. Uh, but that do... I don't know. Just everybody in this game has got parent problems. So it's like... Are, are the writers okay? Is family therapy working out well? Okay, so... But what if we save the galaxy? I mean, that's pretty impressive. The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian's ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out again. But even if we stop Seren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. Most of the things humans eat and drink are harmful to humans. Man, that's true. Actually, I saw, what was it, a TikTok today that was talking about uh, how people who are lactose intolerant always seem to be the people who, like, eat the most cheese and drink the most milk. And I know a few people who are lactose intolerant. That is correct. <sighs> Destroy all Geth. Man, like, the Geth just gotta, like, get that out of there. <laughs> I don't know, I was trying to come up with something uh, less corny to say. I understand. Okay, so what's the answer? Why does it keep giving me this option? Or I guess it's like a pol I was gonna say a polite way out, but there's nothing polite about it. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. Hmm. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. I mean, it's Until ice cream, recently, though. They never went beyond the borders of the veil. And I mean, who's gonna say no to ice cream? Now are under Seren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. Hmm. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Seren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. Yeah. Oh, actually, fun little question for chat. What's your favorite ice cream? Mine is cookie dough or, like, a cookies and cream. I, I like cookies, cookie chunks in my ice cream. 
All right, so we got Quarians, Geth, Pilgrimage, Tally's father. Let's let's talk some more about that. What was your father like? It wasn't easy growing up as the daughter of one of the Admiralty. Even before he joined the board, he was a prominent figure. People looked to him for leadership. He had to set an example, and he expected the same of his daughter. Plus, he was pretty strict, mm. a military man through and through. That could he be never easy. Allowed me to settle for anything less than excellent. Yeah, I'd say that counts. As a kid, I sometimes felt like he was pushing me too hard. But now I'm old enough to appreciate what he taught me. The world doesn't owe us anything. If we want something in life, we have to earn it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, what about your mother? Where was your mother in all this? Mother was around. <laughs> Apparently. Quas the ice cream police. Almost like she was overshadowed by my father. He tends to do that to people. She passed on about five years ago. Oh. Some airborne virus that swept through the fleet. Happens sometimes when the filters start to break down. I think my father took it pretty hard. After she was gone, he became even more focused on his work. I think that was his way of dealing with the grief. Cookies and cream, birthday cake, ooh, Oreo, <gasps> good choice, Kit Kat, basically ice cream with chunks of stuff. You know what? Those are all fantastic options. Jamocha almond fudge. I don't think I've ever had that one. That sounds good though. Pistachio or taro. Ooh. And chocolate peanut butter. Ooh, that sounds good too. Ooh, there's some there's some good options in chat here. There's some there's some good suggestions. Good flavors. I know, now we all want ice cream. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, were you close to your dad? Sounds like a tough upbringing. You don't resent your father at all? I do, every like day. I said, it wasn't easy. My father's not the kind of person you bond with, and he wasn't around all that much. Too busy. I bet. People counted on him, and he took his duties seriously. Even when he was around, he always seemed a bit distant, like his mind was always somewhere else. Come to think of it, I can't ever remember seeing him smile. Not once. It's like he was always weighed down by all that responsibility. I mean, I know he cares about me, but he never really showed it, not in the usual way. I guess the best thing I can say about my father is that I respect him. Okay, question. Corians. Do they wear the suits and the masks when they're on the flotilla? Because she's like, I never saw my dad smile, and my first thought was, what does that look like? <laughs> can you see that? I know, I know, that was my question. When she said that, it's just like, I don't think I've ever seen my dad smile. And it's like, you could be smiling right now and I wouldn't know. So I don't know what that means. I want to talk about something else. Sure. Like what? Goodbye. I should go. <laughs> See you later. All right. Uh, hey, anything new to report? Something I can do for you, Commander. Personal questions already. Eh, goodbye. Carry on, Adams. Aye, Crowds? I don't think so. Okay. Maybe? I don't know. Koreans have a bad immune system. I'm sure they have time to they revise their list. Who's sharing ice cream? Hey there, Olaf. Uh, we're talking about favorite ice cream flavors. What are some of your go-tos when you're having ice cream? And don't say you're lactose intolerant because lactose intolerant people love ice cream. But it's like, so do they wear it at, on the flotilla sometimes or do they wear because she was talking about her mom and it's just like oh the filters start to go so that to me says that they wear them all the time in which case do you if you don't see their faces bare too often you probably wouldn't see them smiling too often most of the time I think okay okay I think I think that's that I've now caught up with everybody properly I didn't mean to exclude Tali. That was an accident. And engineering's on that floor too. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, nope, we gotta go this way. Mangoes go, ooh, mango. Get around there. That is true. Her, her dad was a, a cranky guess. He was a busy man, a lot of, a lot of people to manage. Okay, so let's take a look at the journal. So now we've got Rex, family armor. That's what we're going for next. So 
He's looking for his family's ceremonial armor. It was taken by the Turians after the Krogan Rebellion, and now a profiteer named Ton Actus has it. <laughs> well, then it's... Then it's probably good she hasn't seen him smile? Just, I don't know. Sorry, I didn't mean to go there. I'm just saying. Do you get to see Tali? If, or does she wear the visor? Or does, like, the visor make it a bit spicier? I'm, okay. Anyway. Back, back to the mission. Back to the mission. Um, let's see. The base is somewhere in the Argos Row Cluster. Okay. All right. Don't, don't tell me then. We'll keep it spoiler free. It was more of, like, just jokingly pointing it out. Argos Row. Argos Row. She wears only the visor. <laughs> Second playthrough in your male shepherd. Okay. So actually, I didn't check out any of these other ones, I don't think. Tungle. Okay. She has a visor under the foot. Just visors on visors. Extra protection. <laughs> Tungle is a massive terrestrial world nearly twice the size of Earth with a dense atmosphere of nitrogen and ethane. Its scorching hot surface is mainly composed of iron with extensive deposits of heavy metals and radioactives. It is a mineralogical treasure trove and many corporations are lobbying for mining rights. 242 Celsius. That is hot! Ah, well, thank you for your service. It is much appreciated. Uh, so we managed to track down the doctor that Garrus was looking for, and uh, I shot and killed him. Took one shot. Feel pretty good about it. So now we're going to help out Rex. But first, I'm just going to explore some of the planets in this sector. Yep, just shot him in the back. And we're the good guys. Klobaka is a moderately sized terrestrial world with a hazy hydrocarbon atmosphere. Its surface is mainly composed of chlorides with deposits of solid and liquid form hydrocarbons. <laughs> Actually, I'm curious. I feel like, you know what? That's canon now. Olaf, you've coined that. I don't know if there is a term for it, but that feels correct. I mean, that was the neutral option. That's the crazy thing. It was Garrus, I don't think we should kill him. Um, time to die. And then, time to die. Those are my three options. <laughs> Several attempts to chart Matul have been made, but none have been successful. By normal standards, a small rock planet, Matul has a dense atmosphere composed of carbon dioxide and argon, with a surprising amount of water vapor. Fogs and rain are common on the barren, lifeless surface. I can prove he was a mon- That is true. And Garrus confirmed it was him. Matola is pleasant enough to be considered a terraforming prospect, though its low mass and the high radiation of the energetic blue star Herschel place it fairly far down on the list. Alright, well... Here, Klugon, I mean, Klugon, Klugon? Klugon's hydrogen-helium atmosphere is given a fairly dramatic emerald tint by chlorine and ionized gases. It has nearly 100 moons. That is a lot! Uh, yeah, but there was only one option to have him live, and uh, two options to kill him. One is to let Garrus do it. Okay, there's Newton. <laughs> that is the dream. Okay, Sentry Omega, Armstrong Nebula, Eros Voyager Cluster, Hades Gamma, Artemis Tau. Is this cluster for Nebula? Argos Row. That's it. Can I... Is there a shorter route? No? You gotta go that way. Okay. Argos Row. Um, okay, we got a couple options. We got Phoenix. Ooh, Phoenix and Hydra. Let's go Hydra. We're tracking down Rex's armor. Let's see how we do. All right. <laughs> Hail Hydra. Let's see, Saiba? Ooh, we can survey. Saiba is a standard Neptune-type Neptune, Neptune -type gas giant. The upper cloud decks of its hydrogen-helium atmosphere tinted a dramatic blue by traces of methane. Very pretty. Let's survey. 
gas deposits surveyed. Scans from orbit have detected a large concentration of helium-3. Cool. Okay, we got a couple of... No other mystery clickables here? Okay. Thyar. Thyar is a large gas giant with traces of chlorine and sodium in its atmosphere. It also has a significant amount of water vapor in the clouds of its upper atmosphere. <laughs> Just surrounded by moons. Thayer was struck by an asteroid at least 12 kilometers in diameter within the last hundred years. The superheating caused by the impactor's atmospheric passage created a large bank of vicious storms along the equatorial band. Interesting. We got these three. Oh, I first, I just passing over it real quick. I was like, is that called Cancun? Message coming in. Oh, patching it through. This is a general distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Critical system failure, losing power. Oh, emergency landing. Argos. Communications failing. Life support and emergency transponder. Oh no, they seem fine. Pretty mundane call. No, we gotta go. Met Ghost is a large terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Its hot surface is mainly composed of nickel with deposits of potassium and heavy metals. It is a mineralogical treasure trove with concentrated heavy elements constantly being brought to the surface by volcanic activity. Met Ghost is inhospitable and dangerous, and expeditions must be well prepared to survive any length of time. With its high mass, heat-trapped clouds, and constant volcanic venting, Met Ghost seems well on its way to becoming a Venusian a pressure cooker world. <laughs> Let it go. Alright, let's go. I know I said we were gonna go do Rex's thing, but... Okay. So, they're losing life support. Oh, Garrus is coming with. Garrus is always gonna come with. He is the constant on this team. Who do we want to take with us? Is that its biotic strength? But I don't know if we'll need biotics. Hmm. No, well, let's take Tally. I should probably take Caden sometime, but... It's already a little awkward with us, so, I mean... Ooh, that's how they get you. Level 2 Hazard. Okay. Let's see. What are we looking at here? So, we've got... Transponder signal, anomaly, debris. All right. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go to the transponder signal. Oh, it's uh, pretty close by, actually. Ooh, some rocks. are those rocks sorry guys I gotta take a quick detour there's some rocks up here there's the rocks <laughs> they do all right let's see here let's survey that mineral Ooh, rare elements surveyed. You have successfully surveyed a large deposit of thorium. Yeah. Ain't that the truth. That's the thing, it's like... Looks like the signal's oh. coming from that wreckage. Careful. Not enough time. I've got a bad feeling about this. Got a bad feeling. Ooh. Where are they? Holy crap! Oh, 
Hello. Where's that one coming from? Oh, hello. Okay, we're good. I know. <laughs> Happy New Year. Welcome. Okay. So, here, I'll just go in. Let's go in front ways. Surprise, get. Nope, okay. Level 2 hazard. Alright. Nothing to see here, folks. Alright. Fun, so that was a hoax. Let's go get some debris. Man. There isn't anything else here, right? Holy crap. Did I run over that? Was that me? Yeah, there's... <laughs> I didn't mean to! <laughs> okay. Alright. We're just gonna... We're just gonna continue onwards. This is a fake signal. Jeez. Man, that is high up. Alright. Whoop! Whoop! I meant to hit shift. Oh, crap. We're fine. We're fine. This is fine. We're fine. There, we made it. Hmm. I always wonder when I see the mountains, I'm like, is there something up there? I <laughs> didn't die, believe it or not, the car can be destroyed. Okay, I imagine by enemy fire. Because right now, we're doing okay. Would take you sitting in the middle of a pile of fire and bullets. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, there's gonna be something. Alright, where is this debris? Should be Right there. Come on. Up. Up, up, up. Mmm, can't see anything. Fun. Okay. Can I get a better vantage point? Ooh! Oh goodness, that is all the way down there. Okay. Let's, uh... <laughs> sure, let's test it. Okay. Yeah, let's go. And here we go. Oh, that was not as exciting as I hoped. Ooh. Okay. Decrypting. Alright, we got enough. No. Ah, oh, crap. Dang it. Okay. Yeah, all right. Let's try it. We are insured, yes. I can always reload the save. Okay. There we go. Got it. <laughs> Kinetic stabilizer. Cryo rounds. I will take all those. All right, let's get back on the ship. Back in the cruiser. All right, what else do we got here? We got an anomaly. Let's check that out. Okay. Getting out of here is gonna be a little tricky, but. Come on. Whoop, that didn't help. Okay. Uh, let's try that way. Ooh. 
This is not ideal. That's okay. What about this way? It's technically going the wrong way. No, that's not gonna work. Okay. Hmm. Whoop. I don't I don't wanna break it, but here we go. I don't know if I can get out of here. I will say, I did see on Steam they were taking pre-orders for that. Ah. Uh, I don't know if I can get out of here. Oh no. Can I get out? Hold on. There must be a way. If I speed it. Nope. <laughs> I thought it was worth a try. Okay. Um. Oh. Uh. <gasps> we made it! Yes! <laughs> I am the best driver. <laughs> I honestly wasn't sure we were gonna get out. Here, wait. There we go. Just uh, had to give that a save. Have to get up there? Whoop. Nope, okay. Whoop. Oh, nice. Alright, how far are we? Ah, a little bit of a ways. I'll make it. Over that way. Here we go. Ah, I will say, like they're making some fantastic games now. I've admittedly I haven't played God of War, but I know with like the reputation of the new ones, it's like. Maybe I should give it a shot. Because I know with the newer games, it's like its own separate thing. Okay. Hmm. Maybe there's another way. Find another way up. Oh, there we go. That might be our ticket. Okay. We're good. We're good. three X <laughs> I know I've seen I've seen uh I've seen what those cutscenes look like okay maybe climbing up there is the best method let's try this way okay oh come on come on all right we made it Let's, uh... Ooh, there are bodies here. Hello. Cover artifact. There we go. Tyrion insignia recovered. While searching the wreckage, he found a very old letter stamped with the Gothis colony insignia. Unfortunately, the text is indecipherable. Uh, they don't seem to be doing okay. I think that's a pretty safe bet. So we've checked it out. Let's go back to the Normandy. Thanks for sending us into a trap, guys. Well, I, I've heard that the new ones are a good starting off point if you wanted to get into it. All right, so the others are here. So we're not going back to Metgos. Uh, what about Kenrum? 
Ooh, we can survey. Ooh, that's a lot. Canrum is a small rocky world with a trace atmosphere of methane and krypton. Its surface is mainly composed of magnesium and silicates with deposits of carbon. Canrum was the site of the warlord Shiagur. Shiagurs? defeat by Tyrian peacekeeping forces during the Krogan rebellions. While this band was not especially powerful, Shiagur was a female warlord, the w and one of the few remaining fertile females at that. Wow. She had, through viciousness and cunning, parlayed her unique value into a position of power. Krogan males competed for the right to join her band and lie with her. When Shiagur's death was announced, vengeful male Krogan admirers near and far swore blood oaths against the participating Turian crews. In the end, several thousand of the Turian participants were killed in open combat or through assassination. To this day, many Krogan proudly proclaim that they have the blood of Shiagur. Background's basically Grace used to have a lot of old gods, now it has considerably considerably fewer. Oh, okay. Tyrion insignia recovered. Scans of the planet Canrum revealed dangerous levels of radiation coming from orbit. Chief Engineer Adams conducted further scans and discovered the remains of an ancient warhead marked with the Parthia colony insignia. We're finding quite a few of those. Alright. Varmalus. Okay, so it's not this one either, so it must be the other system. Varmalus has a thick atmosphere of nitrogen and helium. Its surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of alumina with deposits of borax. The planet has an extensive network of subterranean caves formed over the millennia by volcanic processes. In these relatively cool areas, some primitive life has developed. Okay. Ooh, it is. It's very hot. Aphrodite's the only one that shows up and doesn't die. No prizes for guessing why. <laughs> okay, so it's not here. So it was Phoenix. Travel to another system. Let's go! I do have to say, in the grand scheme of things, I'm not as up on Greek mythology. Like, I know some names, I know a couple of the stories, but I don't know as much. Like, I've always liked Greek mythology, too. It's just something I haven't really taken the time to really look much into. We got a lot of stuff to look at here. No little little mystery stuff here. Ooh, we do. We have an unknown carbonaceous asteroid. Ooh, we can survey. This asteroid is emitting a weak intermittent signal at a frequency of 1540 megahertz. Let's survey. You're all about Norse mythology, so you're fine. Okay. Admittedly, don't know much about I know less about Norse mythology than I do with Greek mythology. Basically. That's that's basically all I know. Prothean data disk recovered. During a scan of the Phoenix system asteroid field, you de detected an odd energy reading that Tali determined was quarian in nature. She led a recon team into the asteroid field, where she discovered an abandoned freighter. The team could not determine why the ship was there, but they did find a Prothean data disk on board. Okay. See? I'm not crazy when I'm taking my little cursor around. Okay, so we got Sil Salto. And its brother planet, Peppero. Sil Salto is a standard hydrogen helium gas planet. It has no remarkable features. That's. You can tell this is where the Bioware writers got bored. They're just like, we've written enough planets. There's nothing interesting about this one. No history, nothing interesting about how it's formed or what's on it. It's all boring. Vebinok. Ooh, we can survey. Vebinok is a small terrestrial world with a thin atmosphere of krypton and xenon. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of carbonaceous material, water, ice, and low-density silicates. Rare but concentrated iodes or I'm sorry, iodes of light metals have been deposited by asteroid impacts. One hemisphere of Vebinok is covered by surface deposits of oxidized copper. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> they were feeling salty. Approximately 270 years ago, a Turian bulk gas transport was attacked by pirates in the Phoenix system. Damaged, it made a rough landing on Vebinok. The heat of the landing melted significant quantities of surface ice and ruptured shipping containers spilled locks across the surface. Before this evaporated and escaped Vebinok's weak gravity, it reacted to cause the widespread rust. Ooh. Yeah. 
<laughs> Mostly harmless, but it was in the way of an interstellar overpass. Construction had to go through. Nothing you could do about it. Scans from orbit have detected a deposit of cobalt. Let's see. <laughs> then it's just mostly harmless. Patashi. Hey, Quad's your favorite ice cream. Patashi is a sun-blasted terrestrial world whose atmosphere was blasted away millennia ago by the star Phoenix. The surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of iron with deposits of tin. Due to its relatively low density, Patashi is tidally locked to Phoenix. Seas of molten light metals cover much of the sunward side. Let's survey. Ooh, while scanning, you detected a deposit of Samar Samarium. That's a new one. Tuntau. Ooh, we can land. This is it. Tuntau is an enormous, low-density terrestrial planet with a thick atmosphere of methane and helium. Despite being nearly 20 AU from Phoenix, the star's great heat and the insulating thickness of the atmosphere make the surface surprisingly temperate. <laughs> Some good stuff. The crust is mainly composed of sodium and silicon dioxide with deposits of various light metals. While Tun Tao is not habitable, the relative pleasantness of the surface conditions make it a popular location for small ships traveling through the Argos Row Cluster to land for drive discharge. No, oh, that's- that is a comfortable temperature. That's 21 Celsius. Alright, we're heading down there. I gotta take Rex with me. Gotta take my boy. Let's go. Going in the car. Alright, Rex, we're gonna get your armor. Ooh, Medal of Exploration 2. Okay, so we've got hidden structure, we got anomaly. Let's go to the hidden structure first, just because we're close by. Oh, we gotta do some mountain climbing again. All right, we're doing okay. <laughs> the family jewels. Okay, so it's over this way. Nope. Can't see a big rock in the way. Ooh, it's up there. Okay. That looks like something I'm gonna have to fight my way into. Ooh, okay. Let's, uh... Ooh. Okay, good. I got them all. Okay, we're good. Alright, let's get out. Okay, let's see, uh... Ooh, there's, a uh, There's a lot of dudes here. Okay. Alright, we... This is the place. Yep. My armor's here somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's up, up against a wall. Let's get moving. Just lead the way. All right, let's go. Mm. Enemy is everywhere. Charging up. Okay, so these guys are, let's see, disables biotic tech within a certain radius. Let's give that a go. 
Shields up. Whoop, yep, I'm about to go down. On cooldown. Go, go, go! Next shell deployed. Okay. We gotta use that unity. Get back up. Let's try that. ECM is hot. Okay. Got a couple. Now it gets fun. <laughs> now it gets fun? Okay. Okay, we got a couple. Go, go, go! Oh. Where are they coming in from? Oh, there he is. Said go, go, go. Where are you go, go, going? <laughs> Got him. Okay. Just picking him off one at a time. Pirate sniper. Okay. Go, go, go. What else we got here? Okay. Gentlemen. Okay. Just trying to get a visual on them. Okay. They're over there. So. Okay. Hmm. Just. Where are you firing? There's one. Come out. Come out. Come out. There we go. Alright. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. So we got one up ahead. Two more. Might be over top of us, though. There they are. Okay, they are there. Got him. I see you. Can I? I can't lock on. Heading on that side. Got him. Okay. One more. Let's see. Whoa. Up top. Come here to me, guys. Nope. Rally round. All right. Come on. You know what? Let's go. Nope. Oops. 
stop it. Rex. Alright. Don't, don't run in front of my shot. It's not cool. Oh, nope, don't need to do that. Okay. Now let's do a bit of looting. Fuel tank. Oh, I could have exploded that. Um, yeah. What the heck was that? What was that about? Okay, we're good. Ooh, upgrade kit. Technician kit. Let's take all those. Ooh. Thank ya. What else? Ooh. Look at all this gear. All right, let's try. <laughs> All right, let's take that. This is it. There, he found it. I can't believe my ancestor ever wore this piece of crap, but at least I've got it back. That's great. I'm glad we could help you get it back. I might just be starting to like you, Shepard. Ah. Rex touches his grandfather's armor. His expression thoughtful, perhaps. Krogan are hard to read. Then he shakes off his bemusement and grips his gun with renewed purpose. Time to move on. Okay. Well, I mean, we still probably got some more looting to do, so let's do that. Uh, okay. gentlemen. <laughs> Poof, there they are. This is going pretty well, all things considered. I don't know what's gonna be in here, but... <laughs> Rex goes in first. <laughs> okay, let's get that medical kit. Got some crates. Ooh. Decryption skill too low. Okay, how about this? Really can't, can't even... Man, okay. Well, that's enough of that. Yep. Uh, I'm not missing anything. Don't think there was anything around here. What the? Just stopped running all of a sudden. It's like. Okay, Shepard? Okay. Alright, we'll go team. We did it! All right, back in the car. We got some more exploring to do. So let's see, we've got an anomaly, we got some debris. Let's go to the debris first. Oh, we got a, we got a bit of a ways. Here I thought I was doing the out of the way stuff first. And here we go. We're fine. Take a few bumps. Take a few bruises. Whoop. That's not what I intended to do, but that's okay. There's something over there in the distance. Hmm. Thought I saw something. Take the long way around. So overall, we're having a pretty productive session for doing side missions. I'm feeling pretty good. Made some good strides with some of our teammates. Let's see if we can speed this up a little bit. How far are we? Oh, we're getting there. Let's see. It's the 
best way up there? Oh, probably. Hmm. Let's see if we can go up this way. Yeah, I know. Otherwise, it's a pretty good day. There it is. Just all the way down there. There it is. Alright, let's go. Whoop. Just imagine, like, Rex or, or Garrus being like, hey, uh, Shepard, one of us could drive. It's like, no, no, I got it. This is fine. Alright. Crashed probe. Electronic skill too low. God damn it. Uh, Alright. It's always that electronic skill. That's always getting me. Alright. Well, let's see if the anomaly is going to have anything for us. All the way over there. Okay. Whatever. I'm just run it over. Electronic skill. Actually. Nope. I was like, did we level up? No. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> Just the dog sitting in the burning house. This is fine. This is fine. This is all according to plan. Ooh. We've got some deposits. Okay, welcome back to the stream. I hope you're doing well tonight. Come on. Up the hill. Alright, where? Down there? Oh, there it is. Alright, let's get those rocks. There we go. Got it. Heavy metal surveyed. You have successfully surveyed a large deposit of mercury. I will take that. Alright. How close or far are we? Yeah, again there. Uh, kinda. some extreme downhill. Oh, what? I mean, aliens. Aliens. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this is all about. Proves it. It's aliens. Hmm. Planet Egypt, yeah, apparently. Uh, not looking too good. Alright. Ah, oh, jeez. There, got it. <laughs> Matriarch's writings recovered. You found one of Matriarch Del Delinaga's writings on this body. It's possible the writings came from the nearby ruins. Any any goodies or anything? They're uh yeah, they're not looking too good. I'm here if you need me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, actually maybe let's uh let's get a bit closer. I can park closer, it's fine. Heading to position. Hmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, nothing else to see here. Just shimmy down here. Come on, boys, we gotta shimmy. Okay. Weird pyramid. Cool. Alright, we can uh, probably go back to the Normandy now. Okay. Actually, can I talk to Garrus? Nope. End up in there by accident. So now we gotta figure out what assignment to do next. It's like, yeah, we could do the main story, but we got a, we got a lot of side missions. We've got so many. And every time we go to investigate one, we get a new one. Hey, Rex. Shepard. So you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? <laughs> I'm know. tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm not like you, Shepard. I'm no hero. You could be. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to. Aww. I tried, I gave up. Mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. <laughs> just for one day. That's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. Let's see. Did we talk mercenary or we did talk family? I just want to make sure it's not anything new. You must have family other than your father. Don't you miss them? No. Now oh, that here I we have go. my family's armor again, there's nothing left for me. Oh, Rex. Extinction, genophage, we talked about mercenary. That How was long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first oh. contract right I think this after is I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits, and most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting, private armies and such, but it gets too messy. I fight best on my own. Don't have to worry about other people. Groups. Mm. I don't like people relying on me, and I bloody well don't like relying on them. Oh, Rex. <laughs> Shepard. Alright, we'll save there. Uh, anything, Garrus? Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? Now he wants to talk. It's Sarah. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. Eh, eventually. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn gad. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but... But? If there's anything else I can do to help, anything. Just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? Of course. What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really hmm. dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? Hmm. I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Yep. Well, well we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. Murder is the only option. It'll depend on the situation. 
I'm not committing to anything until I've got him in my sights. Fair enough. Either way, I'm right behind you, man. There we go. We're all good. Okay, so... Actually, let's head back up. Before we start doing any navigating. Because there were a couple of side quests I was curious about what the next steps were. I got like a slouch thing. Mind you, it's... It's true to life. I've got a bad slouch. I have not been sitting properly. Oh, I just got home. Okay, so what are we working with here? Ooh, we got upgraded. Fantastic. I got four points. Lift, get tactical armor. Let's see, could be a master marksman. Specter trainings all the way. Master Unity. <gasps> be good. Barrier would be good as well. Mm. Let's get let's get lift. There. Okay. Now back to journal. Okay, so we've got some assignments here. We got a lot. We've We've got a lot. Okay, so let me just take a look at some of these. So, Prothean Artifacts. So we've got three out of seven. Not bad. Like, not even just doing it. I'm just picking stuff up as I go along. Not bad. Keep searching till you've collected them all. Missing Marines, you encountered a distress beacon when you entered Sparta system. Someone there may need your assistance. Maybe we'll go to that. But Valuable Minerals. Yeah, we got some... Sorry, Diplomacy. You've received a cryptic message from Nasana Dantius, an Asari ambassador on the Citadel. She wants to meet with you in person. Okay. Sorry, writings. We're picking those up. A doctor at risk. Well, on Novaria, you found a log listing an unauthorized transmission. Apparently, someone thinks a doctor located in the Newton system is in grave danger. Unfortunately, it appears the message was intercepted by Novaria security before it could be delivered. We've got a missing person. On Novaria? Okay, we might have to go back to Novaria. May named Gareth is concerned his brother and the ship he was on may have been attacked by privateers. They're smuggling. Oh, Opold's package. Opold asked for your help smuggling a package through customs. Retrieve the package. You've agreed to help Opold. This package has been left outside the Normandy in the docking bay. Oops. Too late to get it? <laughs> Might have to go back to Novaria. Okay, we got Tyrion insignias. We're not doing too bad on those. Rogue Six has taken over an Alliance training ground located on Earth's moon. Alliance Command needs you to eliminate. Okay, uh, let's go back to Novaria. Certain his brother in the ship may have been attacked by privateers. Okay, is that on Novaria though? No, it's, uh, go to the strenuous system. The Horsehead Nebula cluster. Search for signs of Gareth's brother and his ship. Okay, it was a doctor at risk. Find the doctor. Head to the Newton system and the Kepler Verge and warn the doctor. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's go back to the very Uh, okay. Trying to remember where Novaria is. So that's everything here. We can head out. I'm trying to remember where Novaria was. Oh, here it is. Where is this Novaria? Here we go. So outside the docking bay. Let's, uh, let's head back. Should be, hopefully, safer there now. We'll see. It's a nice, cool landing sequence. Remember docking bay area. 
It's over this way, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, right, yeah, I can take a team with me. Ah, yeah, let's take them. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta level up my team a little bit here. Hmm, electronics, let's go for that. And... Let's... Advanced lift. Singularity. Yeah, here we go. And Garrus gets a couple. Let's see. Electronics, because we're always needing electronics, apparently. Okay, so journal update. Smuggling. Return the package. You've recovered Opal's package. It appears to be a powerful experimental weapon mod. Bring it back to him at his store. Okay. I could just walk right in. Just don't give me trouble. Don't give me trouble. Hello. Just going in. Do, do, do. Nothing to see here. Everything's fine. We're, we're, we're good. We're good. I mean, pff, I mean, just a, just a specter going about her business. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Hmm? Here you go. Do you have the package? The customer grows restless. It's a lie, not yet. <laughs> see. I'm keeping it. I'll just give it to him. Mm, I feel like it's going to be used against me. I'll give it to him. Here you are. The Spectre has done a great service for this one. From the deepness of light, it thanks you. Money. This one Money. promised compensation Finally. for services rendered. It humbly suggests that a sum of 250 credits would be most appropriate. Would you have had any chance of getting this past customs without me? You can be a bit more generous. I think so. The other's words possess the discomforting ring of truth. This one could raise the sum to 500 credits. That is half this one's profit taken by the other. Okay. It can offer no more. That's thoughtful of you. This one is glad to have come to an agreement. Show me what you're selling. Of course. Let's see. Let's look at the upgrades. Ammo upgrade. Oh. Oh, I gotta do the whole thing again. How may this one assist? Show me what you're selling. Of course. Few items. Okay, there we go. Metagel upgrade three. Ooh. Eleven thousand. Uh, you know what? I'll get it. I do need metagel upgrades. Whenever I can get them. Ooh, we've got materials licenses. Let's get that. Light armor. Let's see, up to 34, 130, not good for shields. Better tech 
by no on par. Ugh. Nah, I think I'm good. All right, now we can head back. Is there a faster way to get back on the ship? No. Okay. Gotta gotta make our way back. I will say, I am happy I managed to cross off one of the little side missions. We've got so many. So many. Yes. Send back to the ship. Perfectly normal. Actually, can I talk to you? Commander, I'm glad you stopped to talk. I wanted to tell you how unfortunate it was that Analeas Sama was caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Rest assured, I bear you no ill will. Doesn't sound like you disapprove of his actions. Mm. The executive board is not concerned with galactic law, Commander. That's why this planet was settled, after all. It's true. As far as they are concerned, Analeas Sama went too far. On Ovaria, you may do what you wish. So long as you do not disturb public order. Just don't go like too far and get in other that people's you business. Limit the number of disturbances you provoke. I would consider it a favor. I don't intend to make life difficult for anyone. I appreciate that, Commander. If you will excuse me, I must file reports on this incident. Good day. I've uh, got reports to, to file. I got some tapes to return. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is ours. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Oh, this is so much better than decon in Star Trek Enterprise. <laughs> Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Presley? Presley? Yes, Commander. Hmm, we got some person. How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? I signed up with the Alliance <laughs> as a navigator right out of school, following in my grandfather's footsteps, I guess. My first posting was on the Agincourt. We were oh, one we of did the first this. reinforcements to arrive at Elysium after the Blitz hit. <laughs> Those raiders were no match for an Alliance frigate. Of course, the only reason the colony was still standing was because of you, Commander. I can't believe you held out as long as you did. How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so where do we go from here? We got a couple of options. So let's take a peek here. Okay. Minerals, diplomacy. We got a couple people. Missing Marines. Sparta system. Yeah, let's check that. Speak to Kahoku. The bodies of the men who served under Admiral Kahoku return to the Citadel Tower and inform the Admiral of their fate. Okay. So, we got a couple of things to do with the Citadel. I don't think I'm gonna worry about that right now. Got the cryptic message. Yeah, she's on the Citadel. Yeah, meet with Nasana. Minerals, we're working on it. Sorry, writings. Doctor at risk. Okay. Let's see here. Find the doctor. Head to the Newton system in the Kepler Verge. Kepler Newton. Kepler-Newton. Here we go. Looking for a missing doctor. Thank you. 
It's just finding a lot of missing people. It's like, hey, can you respond to this distress signal? Half of them are traps, but hey, what are you gonna do, right? Message coming in. Of course. Patching it through. Yep. I received some troubling information, Commander. We need your help. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. I'm happy to look into it, Admiral. What yeah. can you tell me? All four scientists Travel space, but do stuff for us. All right. It was a brutal massacre there years ago. An entire unit was killed by Thresher Mall. <sighs> it was classified Hate those. as a natural hazard. But the project dates coincide with the attacks. You think these scientists had something to do with the attack? I'm not certain what I think. But it's worth investigating. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth lead out. Okay. So we got some here. Look, Jun Crow. Oh, really? Oh, you guys were saying it was like a baby one. It's like, oh, how big can those things get? Okay, we can survey. Jinkro is a hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of chlorine and sodium in its upper atmosphere. Like Uranus in the solar system, it is tipped on its side, its north pole facing the star Newton. Let's survey. Large concentration of hydrogen. I'll take that, yoink. How about this one? Sesmos? Is pretty. Sesmos is an ice dwarf world, its surface composed almost entirely of frozen water. Normally a planetoid this small would not rate inclusion on the system's charts, but Sesmos' unusually large and beautiful ring of ice crystals has made it a popular subject for visual artists. <laughs> Got him! The ring is the result of a glancing equatorial impact, which left a large trench and threw a great deal of melted water into the atmosphere. The rings are a temporary feature that will completely decay in a few thousand years, so make sure you head over there today. Check out Sesmos. Actually, is there any other little, little clickables or... no. Ontaram. Ooh, we can land there. Ooh, pretty. Though Antaram's surface is uncomfortably hot, its nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere and abundant shallow seas make it an ideal candidate for habitation by most known species. Unfortunately, the orbit of the moon of Thonal has been slowly decaying since the system coalesced. Its proximity is beginning to have tidal effects, and its dynamo-like revolution through Antaram's magnetic field is generating increasing powerful electrical storms. While some have suggested emplacement of mass effect drives in an attempt to lighten the moon and correct its orbit, the scale of such a project, tens of thousands of drives, costing enough to bankrupt the governments of all the Citadel races, make it a pipe dream. A multi-racial effort is underway to catalog and preserve the unique genetic diversity of Antaram's vibrant, vibrant young biosphere. Oh, welcome back, Gabsby. I was trying to explain SMT to you. You know what? I've, I've had people try to explain SMT to me. It is a process. It is time-consuming. Totally understandable. Uh, vibrant Young Biosphere, Exogeny Core, and Heiwan Genomics represent the Alliance's share of the effort. Let's go. Okay, I'm figuring this is gonna be dangerous. I'm taking my boys with me. You know what? That's another- <laughs> that's another one. I feel- I feel that's fair. Actually, I want to wait till I'm, I'm- I'm trying again to watch JoJo. I'm in season one still. It's an effort. I'm on part two. I've made it farther than I've been. Yep, nobody learned anything. That's- <laughs> It is very pretty here. It is beautiful. Okay, so let's go to the anomaly first. What's the best way? Up or down? Alright, we're going down. Whoop, and there we go. <laughs> Rex is like, I'm not going on missions with Shepard anymore. She's the worst driver. Whoop, here we go. Basically, uh... Like, I've only got, like a teensy bit of crossover knowledge just because I enjoy the Persona series. I know they're very different, but... 
Ooh, what? Uh, um, giant bugs. That's new. Recruit? What was that? What? Was I not supposed to do that? Hold on. Was I not supposed to do that? Oops. <laughs> what does that mean, recruit? What does that mean? <laughs> oh... I mean, it looks like a giant, violent bug thing. Should I- should I not have done that? Oh, there's smaller bugs. Oh no. Was I not- Yeah? I just- the timing was- was really something. Those ones do anything? Kill the bugs. <laughs> it's coming right for us. Yep, from a, a safe distance. Can I? Okay. Where'd the big one go? Where'd the big one go? Where'd you go, big guy? I know you're here. Ooh, they, they squish very easily. I don't like this. Okay. Oh. Here we go. Hello, sir. All right, let's see if we can get this one. Right. There we go. There. Tyrion insignia recovered. It's unclear what happened to this Tyrion. He had an ancient paper book with the Bostra outpost insignia printed on the cover. I wonder if it had something to do with the big bugs. Yeah, let's get moving indeed. Okay, uh, let's, whoops. We'll go there next. Excuse me, excuse me. Whoop, I meant to hit shift. Actually. Okay, it is on the mountains. Okay. Okay, we're doing alright. We're doing okay. Just don't get hit by lightning. And we'll be fine. Boosty boost. Uh, oh! I thought I saw an enemy thing. Oh, is it gonna need an electronics? Uh, ooh! I have enough. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's try it.
There we go. Grenade upgrade. I'll take that. Now I've got enough for uh, electronics to actually do stuff. All right. Okay, and our last stop. Ooh, actually, I want to... Yep, it's on the mountainside, I believe. Oop, there are enemies. There's one more. Okay, there's one more. Don't know where they are. I'm gonna go around from behind. Sneak up on them a little bit. Make it interesting. Oh. Nope, I'm in combat. Okay. Hey, don't run. Get out of there. There they are. Oh, hey, you. Thought I knocked you down. What the heck? Fall. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't run! Stop running! <laughs> okay. I remember when we parked the car. Alright, what are we working with here? Okay. Pirate soldiers. Here we go. Entrance. Hey boys. Hmm. Somebody's already been to work in here. A functioning object. Okay. I'm gonna take those. Oh, hello. Thank you. Okay. I always back up just instinctively. It's like, okay, just give it a sec. Give it a second. Oh, here we go. Oh, jeez. Okay. There's a bunch of them in here. Nothing. Okay. Okay. There's a bunch of them here. Go, go, go! Ooh, okay. What are we working with here? So, let's, uh... Ooh, right, I got my throw, I got my lift. Okay. So, everybody's still good. I don't know. Rex, what are you doing down the hallway? Get over here. Jeez, me and Garrus are doing all the friggin' work here. Oh, crap. Dang it. Okay, we'll try it again. We were down a person. I feel that's fair. Okay. Okay. All right, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Nobody has rushed us from behind just yet. 
Uh, let's give Rex shields up. Everybody get shields up. Ooh, okay. All right, we're starting to get some damage now. Let's see if we can... Let's see. Let's do my own. Um, ooh, I can do a throw. Ooh, there's some. Okay. Let's... Start getting stasis. Warp. And shields up. Shields up. Okay. We've got one more over here. Let's go on the left. Come out. Okay, got him. Okay, there's one more left. Got him. We're good. All right. Fantastic. All right. There. Take all of those. What else we got around here? Any other little goodies? Any other little presents? We got some. Mm. I'll take that. Ooh, locked. Oh, let's go for it. Okay. Ah, crud. There, got it. And let's go. all of those. Nice. Okay. Any other goodies here that I should be aware of? Probably not, but I'll check just in case. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I'm trying to take advantage more of my biotics and the canisters. Uh, hey, buddy. Doing okay? Yeah, looking good. Do I have... Okay, good. You're both here. Let's see. We've got one door. Okay. Stay back. Oh, boy. I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Why? Please. He's a madman. Mr. Toombs, you're insane. You need help. It's Corporal. Corporal Toombs. You don't get to lie. Not today. Today it all comes out. What? What all comes out? I'm listening, but I need you to put that gun down. Tense. You don't understand. I don't want to kill anyone. I, <laughs> I want to go to sleep it's without slowly getting better. In my dreams. I want the people who sent me to Akuz brought to justice. Can't you see the tombs is crazy? Shoot him! But if I can't get that, I'll have to settle for killing the men who took my life away. <laughs> Let's discuss this. You don't have to do this. What happened? What did the doctor do to you, Corporal? We were on a coos. When the Thresher Maws hit, my entire unit was wiped out. The Thresher Maws. The scientists were studying them. They let them hit our unit just to watch. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. What kind of tests are we talking about? 
You can't believe Tombs. He doesn't have any proof. I demand a fair trial. Ever had Thresher Ma acid in your veins? Uh. I have. They wanted to see what it would do. They're part of some organization, Cerberus, that runs secret tests like this. They treated me like a lab animal. This is justice. This man deserves to die. So are you going to kill me or not? Ooh, okay. I've got, I've got to <laughs> let me do it. Uh, we got some options here, so I can shoot him. Say, go ahead, do it. I'm gonna say this is injustice. I'm gonna try and charm my way out of this one. You're better than this, Tombs. You're not like them. You're better than they are. Don't tell me who I am. You got away with a few scratches and a scary reputation. The rest of the unit died, and I was tortured for years, Shepard. You can't judge me. You don't have the right. Tombs, if I could have helped you on a coup, I would have. All I can do is help now. Let me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm no murderer. They couldn't make me one. Just as long as he goes to trial. Maybe the screaming will stop now. I don't know. Those bastards can't hurt you anymore. Joker, tell the Fifth Fleet we need a ship for pickup. Aye, aye, Commander. Look at that, we did it! Toombs stares morosely at the floor, lost in his memories. You give the scientist a shove towards the door. Your mission is complete. The Alliance courts will take it from here. We did it, guys! We did it! It's, uh, Rex's... You, you doing okay there, Rex? You doing all right? <laughs> That's me, Silver Tongue Shepherd. Okay, so that was pretty much all I could do here. So let's head back to the Normandy. See what else we can get up to. So taking a look at the journal, we're we're doing pretty well assignments wise. Just wanna find more minerals. Okay, so we got some stuff on the Citadel we need to do. We got some dead scientists. Oh. Report to Hackett. Okay. Um, I'm trying to remember. Hackett I have to talk to at the Citadel, correct? Or am I supposed to do that in the, um... In the comms room. I was trying to remember what the actual terms for it is. Gareth. in the comms room? That's what I was thinking, comms? Okay. Here, then you know what? We'll go to the comms room real quick, because that's just right behind here. I remember that. Uh, or not. I guess. Okay. Maybe I have to go to the Citadel for that one. Okay. Just going back to the journal. Let's see, we got Victorian Insignia, or... Let's see. Ooh, a rogue six has taken over the Alliance train. Okay, so we got that. We've got our missing person. We've got our almost done dead scientists. Almost there. Missing Marines. We took a Hoku. Strange transmission. Find the commune. Sentry system. Okay, so we got that one. So Del the Fan. Scan the keepers. 12 out of 20, not bad. Okay, ooh, which one do we want to do next? Let's do this one. The strenuous system. In the Horsehead Nebula. Message coming in. Oh. Patching it through. I reviewed your report on the situation. Okay, here we go. I'm glad to see you were able to take Dr. Wayne in alive. Now we can put him on trial and get some answers. Corporal Toom seems to have found some closure. Hopefully That's good. He'll have a normal life again someday. Thank you again for your assistance. He needs a lot of therapy. There, that's a uh, job well done. Look at that. Okay, I think we have one more other planet we wanted to look. Did we look at Junkrow? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Okay. So what was that last one here? 
Is it Clencory? Oh, we can survey. Clancory is a rock and ice planet with an atmosphere composed of chlorine and argon. The frozen surface is mainly composed of potassium with deposits of iron. Clancory is famously claimed by the eccentric Volus billionaire Kuman Shoal. He claims that a vision of a higher being told him to seek on Clancory the lost crypts of beings of light. These entities were supposedly created at the dawn of time to protect organic life from synthetic machine devils. <laughs> there you go. Shoal has been excavating... Yeah, excavating on Clancory's toxic surface for two decades at great expense. No government has valued the world enough to evict his small army of mercenaries. <laughs> Clancory Glenross. Scans the planet Clancory revealed the cockpit of a Volus trading vessel. There are no signs of the rest of the ship, but the salvage team discovered one of Matriarch Dilinaga's writings in the ship systems. Okay. Okay, so I gotta go to the Horsehead Nebula. It wasn't Pax. It, it, it's strenuous. I, I'm probably misreading that. I apologize. I'm not the best when it comes to pronunciations. Ooh, we've we've got a lot of little planets here. A lot of them. Okay, let's just skim these real quick then. Zawin. Okay. Warning, level one cold hazard. Zawin is a th has a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. The surface is frozen and mainly composed of cobalt with deposits of copper. Planet side conditions are hazardous with constant ice storms racking the surface. How about you, young Thoral? No, we can survey. Shrouded by a thick atmosphere of complex hydrocarbons, Yum Thoral has never been fully mapped. The surface is hot and completely covered by a global ocean of liquid hydrocarbons. There are indications of primitive organic life developing deep within the global ocean. Well, let's take a look. Ooh, medallion. Your scan uncovered an ancient deep space probe slowly orbiting Yum Thoral. Tali brought it on board, dismantled it, and found a League of One medallion hidden in its payload. I will take that. I apologize for- I get spring and fall allergies. I'm- I'm always plagued by these allergies. Anti-Tara. <laughs> but what about your Uncle Tara? Antitara is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of ammonia. Hydrocarbons in the atmosphere lend it a distinct brown tint. Lovely. Scans from Orbit have detected a large concentration of helium-3. Trellin. Alright, Trellin is a lifeless rock with a trace atmosphere of xenon and krypton. Its surface contains large amounts of iron and magnesium silicates. Due to heavily cratered terrain, starships are discouraged from landing. A Salarian religious cult claims that a certain pattern of overlapping craters in the southern hemisphere resembles their goddess. Ah, like a Jesus on the tortilla. A standard hydrogen helium gas giant, thus, uh, thus all gone's atmosphere is tinted blue by trace quantities of methane. Did I miss a planet? Zawin, Yunthoral. Did I miss... Tatara. Oop, there it is. Mm -hmm. MSV Majesty. There it is. <laughs> the Majesty is a Kowloon class modular conveyor of human design. The ship is a derelict. All compartments are exposed to space, and the fusion plant is leaking. The damage is consistent with ship mounted mass accelerator fire. Private owner, Captain Willem. Defoe? A faint trail of radioactive particles, possibly exhaust from a sublight nuclear engine drive, leads toward the nearby planet of Zawin. Ooh, okay. Where's Zawin? Oh, here's Zawin. Alright. Minus 131 Celsius. Okay. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's take some other people. Let's take Caden. And... Let's take Rex. There we go. We're not we're not gonna have a tech heavy team, but 
Let's go with this. Let's, uh, let's try something a little different. I know, I still got my boy squad. It's not my usual boy squad, but... So actually, before I go... I gotta, I got up to, he's got 37 he's gotta use. So, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a bit of a boost there. Okay. Ooh, medicine would be nice, yeah. There, here we'll max him out. Since the Citadel, since he used it, it's been a while. It has been a while. <laughs> Okay. Let's get left. Go. Uh, medicine, I feel like. Uh, ooh, advanced neural shock. Ooh, okay. Decryption. Let's get some sabotage here. Let's see. Let's advanced throw. Let's go for it. Advanced first aid. Advanced neural shock. Why not? Got four left. I can get advanced lift. And let's get a barrier. Okay. I'm good. Rex is good. We're good. But unfortunately, it's also time for us to wrap up for tonight. <laughs> But we will be ready to start hunting down our man, our missing persons, in the next stream, which is going to be coming up on Monday at 7.30. Twitter down below is going to have all the details on that. If anything changes between now and then, Twitter will have those details as well. And if you're looking to catch up on maybe some past VODs, maybe some other great playthroughs, I've got my YouTube channel linked here as well. It's got some shorts and all kinds of other fun stuff there. But I'm feeling good. We've made a good dent in the, like, side missions, which was something that was extremely overwhelming there for a bit. It was like we were doing a lot of story stuff, which is fantastic, but the story stuff was starting to add up. So thank you guys so much for joining me. It's been a lot of fun. I hope you'll join me on Monday for some more Mass Effect. Hope you have a great rest of your week. Lovely weekend. I'll see you then. Have a good one, guys. See ya.